All right, today we are going to be working on sections 8.3 and 8.4. We're going to combine both of these sections together with the customary uh, units of measure or uh, metric uh, units of measurement. And we're doing the length, mass, and capacity uh, for this section. So when, what I want you to do is go ahead and hit pause and copy down this information and we'll go through that. All right, looking at millimeters, and again today we're not converting units of measurement. We're simply starting to familiarize ourselves with what these metric units of measurement are and how they represent it. Um, so again, millimeters represented by MM is the abbreviation, and that is the thickness of a dime. So it is very, 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 very thin. Okay, not the, not the width of a dime, but the thickness of it. One centimeter is about the width of your pinky finger, kind of where your fingernail is. That's the width of it is about a centimeter. And there are um, 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So if you took 10 dimes and stacked them next to each other, that would be the uh, width of a, or the width of a uh, one centimeter. One meter, which is an M, is the width of a doorway. So the doorway in our classroom is about one meter. Uh, it's just a little bit more than one yard, about three inches longer. A kilometer, which is km, is about six city blocks. And um, obviously city blocks being that we don't live in the city, that's sometimes a little more difficult to understand. But it's a little bit more than a half mile. Okay, So it's a little more than two laps around the track. Uh, when we talked about a mile, we talked about from Hathaway Road all the way down to uh, Carroll Road when you travel on, on Bethel. Uh, so if you're trying to think of that, plan on going from about um, Hathaway Road uh, up to about where the um, homes start on the other side of where Eel River is. That's about a kilometer. One milligram. Okay, the, these up here are all dealing, all of these are dealing with the length. Now we're dealing with um, how much something weighs. Okay, that is the mass. So we have one milligram. That is the about the weight of a grain of salt. And we're actually going to um, do some of that in the classroom. Uh, one gram is about one small paper clip. And for a kilometer, or kilogram, it depends on how you, or I said kilometer, kilogram, um, that is about six medium apples, or about two pounds, is about how much that weighs. Okay. Uh, when we look at this, there are about, um, for every milligram, um, there are 100 of those milligrams in every gram. So we take a, a hundred, excuse me, I said a hundred, a thousand um, grains of salt, a thousand of them to equal one gram. And then it takes a thousand grams to be one kilogram. So a thousand paper clips to equal um, a kilogram. And when we look at a millimeter, that is about an eyedropper full. And if some of you don't know what an eyedropper full is, um, I'm going to show you that in class as well. I'm going to actually put an eyedropper full of water into your palm of your hand to give you an idea how much that is. And then one liter that says small pitcher or about one quart. So if you got a quart of oil, it's about a liter. Or it's about two of your regular plastic bottles, water bottles, that you drink out of. And I'll have some examples of that as well in the classroom. So now what you're going to do is simply write the metric unit of measure that would um, would, that you would use to measure each of the following, then estimate that amount. So the width of a skateboard. So you're going to refer back, since it's a length, we're trying to figure out which one of these works best for a skateboard. Okay. Now a meter, the width of a doorway, um, it would be too much. It's got to be less, a little bit less than um, that particular um, 
item that you're measuring. So the width of a doorway, you could use a meter stick and say it's one meter. But in this case, we're going to need to use centimeters and the width of your, of your finger. Um, so it's a matter of how many of those would fit inside um, the width of a skateboard. And a skateboard, um, again, we're going to have a, a, an actual measuring device to where you'll be able to, to look at it and gauge it. And uh, I'm going to say that it's probably about 18 or 20 uh, centimeters in width. So these are a little bit more difficult, but you're going to want to use centimeters for that. And it'd be about 20 centimeters. Okay. Millimeters would be too small. Remember, that's the width of a dime. Um, it'd be too many. So you want to just go a little bit less than the width of that item. So the height of Carroll Middle School, the height of our building itself. Okay. We wouldn't want to use the kilometer because that's well above the height of our school. But so let's go down to the next one and try meters. Okay. The height of a Carroll Middle School is less than one meter. Remember, a meter is the width of a door. So that's probably the best unit of measurement is meters. And again, uh, estimating that approximate amount, um, you're probably looking at maybe um, 15 meters or so, 15 of those yardsticks stacked on top of each other. And obviously, it depends where you think you're measuring it. If you're measuring it where our school um, classrooms are, um, that'd be maybe 15. If we're looking at um, down by the gymnasium, how tall that is, obviously that's much taller. Um, it might be 30 or 40 meters tall. The length of the Mississippi River, um, obviously this is a, a great, great length. Um, and it's a little more difficult to try to estimate uh, even I would struggle with estimating the, the length of the Mississippi River. Um, but we're going to definitely use um, kilometers because it's like a mile. Um, and it's about a half, a little more than a half mile. So if we figure from if it starts um, up in the upper part of the United States and flows all the way down to um, the bottom of the United States, we could probably say maybe 1,500 miles that it would be travel. So we'll just maybe double that um, since it uh, takes basically about two of those for every uh, mile. So we'll say it's about 3,000 kilometers long. Weight of a quarter. So we're now we're using a different unit of measurement like uh, weight. So we're going to be using the mass. And uh, so we're going to be looking at this. And again, uh, they're saying the weight of a quarter. Um, six apples, that would be too much. So we'll go to the next one, small paper clip. Um, that's probably going to be the one that we're going to want to use. So we're going to use grams. And the weight of a quarter, you got to compare that to the weight of a paper clip. Um, I'm guessing maybe four of them. So about four grams. And then a bucket of water is going to be our capacity and an eyedropper full compared to a small pitcher um, definitely want to use the liter and if we want to think of a liter as two plastic bottles or, or um, one quart um, for being that so we're going to use liter and if it's a bucket of water let's say there's two gallons of water in that bucket um, and if there's four quarts for every gallon we can multiply that by um, basically by the four and uh, so it will end up with about eight liters for that answer okay and again it is an estimation these are the estimation parts a little more difficult the part that I'm most concerned with is which unit of measurement would you use okay so now we're going to measure these lines and to measure them you're going to use a ruler and you're going to be using the side that has the metric unit to measure. And uh, these are all in centimeters, or what each one of those numbers are representing. The other side has our customary units. So we'll simply place it up on here, and we're going to count how many whole centimeters. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's going to be five holes 
point, and since it's tenths, and these are divided into tenths because there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, it makes it very, very simple then. So now it's counting each one of these little marks. And it goes up to, I believe, just a little bit before the 5, so it's going to be 0.4, so 5.4 centimeters. I want you to go ahead and try this next one, so go ahead and do that. And I look at it, there's definitely four holes, and it looks like it's right on it. So it could just be 4 or 4.0. If you want a little bit beyond, probably 4.1 at most. So go ahead and measure this one. <clears throat> now for this one, it doesn't even equal one hole. So it's going to be 0 point, and it's going to be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it looks like. 7 or 8. You might have 7 instead of 8. It's a little more difficult to tell. So 0.7, or you could say that it is 7 millimeters. Okay, this is centimeters, this is centimeters, and this is centimeters. Okay, um, so if you want to just measure it in millimeters, you could do that, and then this would be worth 10, this is 20, that's 30, that's 40, and that's 50, and so on. So now let's look at our next measurement, and we have all the way down to 11, so 11 point, 1, 2, 3 it looks like, and that is centimeters. Okay. If you're writing it as millimeters, then it would be 113 millimeters. Again, it's just a matter of literally moving the decimal point to the right one place. So these up here would not only be, if you're writing them as centimeters, then it would be 41 millimeters. And up here would be 54 millimeters. So you wouldn't really have to measure uh, millimeters and centimeters. You can measure it in one and convert it uh, to the other, whichever you prefer. Um, so questions on this? Um, we're going to be doing some more of this in class and you'll be using some rulers that I'll provide to you or if you want to use one of yours you can um, on measuring the lengths of particular lines or uh, items that they have listed on the workbook page. Okay. So uh, the next step that we're going to be getting into, we'll be converting these from uh, one unit of measurement to another, um, but we're not going to go, to go down that path yet. That will be something that we do next week. So have a great evening, and we will see you tomorrow.